parents can have such dreams for what they want their kids to be. If a little boy likes to put bandages on his arms, naturally he's going to be a doctor. Or when a two-year-old girl begins mixing salt in water, voila, a Nobel Prize winning chemist. We even have a way of turning our kids' bad habits into great ambitions. But when kids grow up, usually they have their own ideas about what they want to do in life. So parents have to adjust. And they do, for the most part. Because a good parent knows that a child's happiness doesn't come from following the parents' dreams, but from pursuing their own. Pushing on with your legs and your back as much as possible. That way, you take the pressure off your elbow. See, you gotta save that arm, otherwise you are gonna be an equipment manager by the time you're 22. <laughs> Why don't you take a look at this video? Whoa. Oh yeah, I've collected a lot of things over the years. Where did I put that thing? You know, this is the best pitching video I've ever come across. And I want you to pay close attention to it. Because half the secret of being a good ball player is paying attention to everything that's going on. You can't get distracted out there. Hey, is that the game ball from the playoffs? Yeah, that was signed by the entire 96 team. <sighs> cool. And what about the bat? Reggie Jackson, he hit number 326 with that. Oh, man. This stuff is great. Ah. Now... You're going to get a lot of information in a short period of time. What about that jersey? Well, now, that is my most valuable possession. That belonged to my dad when he played in the minor leagues. Are you serious? Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> now, let's get back to the video, huh? There are three things I want to... that? That's my son, Josh. I think he's around here somewhere. I bet he's good, isn't he? Probably in the genes or something, a whole baseball family tradition. No, uh, actually, he's not a... Hey, Dad, how's it going? Joshy boy. What'd he do, break his leg? Uh, no, he, uh, he can't walk. He, he can't walk? No. Ever? No, he's been like that ever since birth. Oh, Coach, I'm, I'm sorry. For what? Well, you know, for, for saying all that stuff about him playing baseball, I just, I feel bad. Well, you shouldn't. But you love baseball. Yeah. And, and, and then he'll never be able to play. I mean, your dad played, you played, but I'm just sorry. It's okay. You know, I felt sorry, too, once. But Josh changed all that a long time ago. How? Huh. Come over here. Play something. I don't know how. Nothing? Well... That's good. That's very good. I think I know how the rest goes. Hold on a second. Josh, can you come here a minute? Yeah. Coach, you know, I think I can pick up Mary Adel Lamp, too. No, that, that's okay. Just, just relax. You called me? Josh, I'd like you to meet Zach. He's one of our starting pitchers. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, too. Listen, could you do me a favor? Could you play that piece you were working on last night? Which one? Uh, the short one, the classical. Sure.
Thanks, Josh. You're welcome. See you around. You know, no matter how much I practice, I will never be able to play like Josh. I mean, I mean, my fingers are too stiff, and I got no rhythm. <laughs> Josh even feels sorry for me sometimes. So don't feel bad because somebody can't throw a curveball. Chances are they got us beat up and down some other way. Ah, don't forget your video. See you tomorrow.